All right, so I hope the audio is recording on this, but this is just going to be a short disclaimer uh, before I start the video, or while I'm making this after the video, but I'll put it before the video that there is graphic content in this video. I felt the need to make this because it's, I'd say, worse than usual, worse than anything I've seen in any other DDLC mods, so just be prepared for that. Um, I'll give an approximate, yeah, I can say when it happens. It happens when we walk into Sayori's room uh, on that day, on Monday, I'm pretty sure. I guess the day is irrelevant, but when we walk into Sayori's room, when she's supposed to be hanging, that's when the graphic content is. So just be prepared for anything, really. I'm not going to spoil exactly what it is, but it is fairly graphic. So that's why I'm putting this warning at the beginning of my video now. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I guess you can just you can watch the video now. All right, back to this. Um, last time we left off, where it's basically just us and Natsuki, and it's it's the day before the festival, so we'll end up having to like bake everything. Even if we don't end up making it to the festival, that's still just like the sequence we have to go through now. But yeah, I honestly don't care at all about this. The only thing I'm really interested in at this point is our interactions with Sayori after this. Because obviously we go into like sort of kiss Natsuki and then she inter interrupts us. And then we say like either I love you or you're our dearest friend or whatnot. And then she hangs herself Monday. But I'm honestly, I have no clue what's... So like this is literally just filler at this point. Like I don't, I honestly, I could probably skip through all of this if I really wanted to. But I mean, because I'm only interested in what's after that, because I've said this in the previous part, but we are in a worse position off than we were in the original Act 1 of DDLC just because of the MC's neglect. And I mean, it kind of sucks as Monica's actually trying to like fix this, but I mean, we're just, the MC's making it so hard. And I like, I don't see any other way this is going to end besides Sayori hanging herself given, like, the events that have happened, so, yeah, just gonna, hopefully I get to that part of today's, like, in, like, within the next hour, which I should, but just have to get through this first, so I'm gonna, like, there's gonna be some, like, funny dialogue or whatnot, but I don't really care, so, just, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into petite girls, don't say that, that makes things worse, uh, how would you know that anyway, <laughs> We're not, we're not a pedophile, we swear. Well, let's just say I've acquired an appreciation recently. Shut the fuck up. That's gross. Hey, you best not be talking to me. Who else? Damn it. Let's just get started, all right? Yeah, she's... Aha. Uh -huh. You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Raven. Nazi smiles deviously. Oh, please spare me. Well, if Nazi decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. She's satisfied enough for now. Finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Good. The quicker this goes, the quicker we can see how this concludes. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki's babysitting all my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Raven, where'd you put the food coloring? The batter's going in the oven soon, so I need to fill a trays. I think it's still in the bag next to a table. What are you using it for? To car the batter, of course. I felt like that was a fairly obvious question, or like answer. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are you doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on, you're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. No, you're not. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. It, it's about applying yourself, really. Meanwhile, I see her separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking, it's just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end. Just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on the first day, huh? I mean, it's like your own cooking, or at least... 
even not no not necessarily that, but the cooking of someone you know tastes better than just like some random person's cooking. Our Kalinowski proudly presenting her cat shaped cupcakes and Sayori Monica's delayed expression. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Doubt it. Yeah. Maybe I'll use the food color then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting in there. We're using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her art hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. Another insight. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Do don't start with this shit. Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Isn't that our bowl? Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger towards the bowl. They're really going to make us go through this again. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I'm actually going to fight. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Nasi tugs with all our might. Ah, the force of Nasi pointing me causes me to stumble, making her stumble and turn. Gross, you got it on my face. Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Nasi's cheek. Mm -hmm. She tries to re reach it with her tongue, but it's a bit too far away. Just use your hands then. Jeez, you know what? Take this. Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish? I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. I am speed. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. They're really making us do this again. Wait, what? Oh, they changed the music for this. I don't know why it was on two volume. Can't hear it like that. There we go. Yeah, and then this is just the same uh, image that they use in the original version. Aha, stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. I have no clue, because I never go Natsuki's route, so I have no clue whether or not this is, like, actually, like, dialogue from the original game. Who so forceful. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. I mean, she... When, when do we really do that to her? We, we rarely do that. It's all her. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I don't even want to click past this, but like, it, it, again, it's like perception. Because like, if you perceive someone to be like, or I guess whatever, trying to get a reaction out of you, when in reality, they're just like chilling. I mean, it's that's basically how it is, really. I take nasty finger and put it in my mouth, flicking off the ice, and we're really doing this again. What? Did you seriously just... Ah, uh, Natsuki's so surprised, she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Rafe, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls, unless you really like them. You really shouldn't do that at all, I mean, like, it's not a thing. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? She, we're like, uh, look how weird she is, asking us a question, as opposed to us sticking her against the wall and licking icing off her fingers. How'd the mood turn to this so quickly? I don't know, ask yourself, I... Nasi gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? This is it, now or never. Oh my god, you... We... <sighs> I lean in and kiss her gently on the lips. Alright, I, ex I actually didn't expect it. I thought it was going to be like exactly like the original uh, Act 1. But I mean, I guess that was a bit naive considering this mod we've been like so fixated on Natsuki. Makes sense that we'd like do some extra stuff like this. Yeah. I answer a question simply. We're just like, not even yes, just like, yeah. This is the part where I half expected her to freak out and call me a gross skin or a pervert. This is where I half expect to be like knocked down and wake up in the hospital or hit me really hard, but it never comes. She doesn't even say a word. She just kisses me back. Come on, off you get. Go on, get. She pushes me off herself with a strength, which again belies her small frame. If we don't get a move on, we will have the cupcakes ready for the festival. Wow, she actually ended up killing the moment. I, I guarantee, I thought I was thinking it would be us. We would just be like, say something dumb, and then just completely ruin the moment. But I mean, I guess hopefully if we did that now, we're not going to do it in front of Sayori. Because I mean, that's really like, all of this is like, it's nice and all. But I mean, what's going to happen with Sayori? That's the real question. Anko will think we're just goofing off all day. 
She places trays of different colored cupcakes into the oven. She sets the timer and we turn our attention to the icing. We finish the mixing and pour each color into a different piping bag. I notice now that all of her equipment is from school. She just, just steal all the school equipment. She ends on my shoulder as she waits for the cupcakes to finish baking. <coughs> that actually value funny she just steals all the equipment from school. I mean, yeah, don't we end up like nearly burning down the house in this? Hey Noski, you're so good at this. Have you ever thought about doing anything with it? Huh? After you graduate, I mean, you could probably make a profession out of this. Hey, but that's a, this is actually some good, because this definitely wasn't in the original DDLC, or the original Acts 1 dialogue, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a, also, because he's thinking of the future, that makes me question what they're going to do with Sayori. Because, like, it happened once before, like, and I don't remember whether, it was in the last part, but it was, like, a day or two ago where they were talking about, like, the future or whatnot. And it, it, it makes me nervous whenever they talk about the future, because it's, like, it might be foreshadowing Sayori's, like, ultimate demise, but I mean, yeah, it's just, well, I am a pro, pro fashion, but nah, no thanks. You're so talented, though, because, I mean, according to whatever, they're all seniors in this, or third years in high school, so, I mean, they they're probably are thinking about future. Raven, think about it. Baking would be my job, then, not my hobby. Could end up with me getting bored of it, even or, or even hating it. This is, that's, that's true. That's good, that's good. Baking is too important to me to let that happen. Like, you it, you can't just like something and then make a career off of it. You have to be like, you have to be like, at least somewhat decent at it. Or at least, it has to be something that like, you could realistically make a living off of. But I mean, if you're a good baker, you could make decent enough. Don't you have any dreams for the future? Well, one, it's kind of embarrassing though. Oh, she wants to be a manga writer. This might actually be in the uh, original Act 1 dialogue, because I do remember that. Come on, you can tell me. No, uh no way. Come on, come on. We are. I, I know what it is. I gently prod her shoulder repeatedly until she snaps. Mm, stop it, I'm not telling you, you jerk. Ah, uh, Natsuki, I'm not yet, okay? I want to, I really want to. Just, there's things I need to figure out first, about you. What do you mean, about us? I, I swear, she mentioned at one point in time she wants to write manga. What kind of things you mean? I'll tell you anything you want to know about me. That's not a line you want to say. Look, just give me some time, okay? My head's all over the place right now. I wasn't expecting to feel like this. Like what exactly? That That's not a question you ask further. A loud ringing from the oven timer announces that the cupcakes are ready to snatch, and snatch is the answer to that question from my grasp. Alright, so you don't burn down the house this time. Uh, it smells good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smell and warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look. She probably shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, take these. Now it's against me the piping bags from earlier. I have these nozzles now. Make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. Probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? Pick up one of the nozzles that has as much there and tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use the right stuff on a cake, like happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, idea actually. Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literature theme by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It'd be fun to see people choose the cupcake based off a word they like. Didn't it say like kanji or something? I don't even know. Hmm, I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. Glad we averted your expectations. That's actually a really cute idea, so. Haha, <laughs> maybe I'm getting it from you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on, we're not at school and nobody's judging. We're just like, cut the bullshit. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're freaking adorable. Well, I'll see his voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? The hell is that? I don't know. It's not important. Did you say something? You're cute too now, shut up. That's actually, that's actually a compliment. At least, like, you gotta take it. They also misspelled your. Let's just do the icing. Asuki picks up the pace and fastens a novel onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so you shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think before, Nasi quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Nasi puts them all... Hold on, I need to listen for something else. Puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Ah, uh, I wish I could have one now. What's stopping you? Well, there's no reason you can't, right? Just, if... How many are we making? We have, like, no rough estimate. I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but it'll be bad if I put on a load of weight. From one cupcake? Well, I mean, I guess... Uh, I could put on some weight. 
Really? Yeah, so just be glad it's me and not Sayori, alright? Are we really going to end this mod without even figuring out about Natsuki's problems? I was really hoping we would, but I mean, all the hints are there, we just haven't taken them. Ha, huh, yeah, Sayori's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. I mean, now that he knows about Sayori's situation, he can't really talk down on her. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. My dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. What's wrong with, like, eating, putting on weight? Like, as long as you burn it off or it's, like, good food, like, good weight, then it's fine. Well, anyway, I was hoping we have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, alright, that's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you always have this chance. Maybe if you'd spend less time trying to get me to do weird stuff with you. That is true. First, like, fighting with the icing or whatnot. Hey, what do you mean by that? As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. Just bring the cupcakes tomorrow, alright? If you and say you are each carry something, you could probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her get any. That's probably a bad idea. We've seen how Sayori reacted in Fallen Angel. And honestly, that... I never even, like, thought of that. And I guess that shows, like, my naivety or whatever the word is. Like, because, I mean, that's sort of like... It's like, oh, Sayori, I had a great time with Natsuki yesterday. Carry the cupcakes that we made. We're just, like, using her at that point. Haha. <laughs> I wish you would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. I once again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I mean, that's interesting. I, I would be interested in seeing, like, Sayori and Natsuki's conversations. Just, like, one-on-one. -on -one. It felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me. But at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. You fucking dumbass. Because it's about her, not you this time. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out. Don't do- please, I swear to god, don't do anything weird that Sayori sees. Just like that, Natsuki's already about to leave. Feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? Aw, oh, we're gonna do something weird, aren't we? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. Oh, no, never mind. It's just normal text. I had fun today. And I don't just mean the obvious. <laughs> you show me how fun baking can be like you want. But aside from that, you can come over any time, alright? I think that is possible. I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga, go out somewhere. Uh, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you, Raven. You actually like me. <laughs> she's just like, wow, someone likes me. I thought you were just leading me on. I kind of had in my head that you wanted one thing. We're not a per- we're not a pedophile. Uh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I'd like to stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so. Oh my god, we're doing- Really? Alright. I guarantee you, Sayori's- There's no- I don't see any other way this ends. Alright, then Sayori hang yourself at this point. I mean, I just- I don't see it. I don't see it. If anything else happens, I'll be surprised. Natsuki suddenly gets close to me. Natsuki. Stay anxious from me. Natsuki looks up at me. I mean- in some of the mods we've seen, we're taller than Yuri, so there's quite a big height discrepancy between us. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt, as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks, matching eyes, fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. Dude, you've done this before. It's, so please, kiss me again. She leans into my lips, seeing hers. God fucking damn it. I, I swear, so you were just gonna break like the con- <sighs> This kiss is different from before. The playful sweetness of earlier is gone, replaced with something much more urgent and passionate. Neither of us want to end. We could stay like this forever. Outside, in public, where Sayori could be us. Huh? Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Sayori? Eh? Ah, she... You idiot. Oh my god. He's like, why is Sayori depressed? I don't know. It's beats me. Hi, Raven. Sayori. I, uh... Haha. <laughs> it's okay, Raven. I just stopped by to say hi. Ah. Well... Should have come out a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Dips. Clearly flustered. Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori. I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> That's like the first thing we say. We don't even say like, I'm sorry or whatnot. We're just like, oh, wait, why are you here? You should be stuck in your room. I tried staying in my room. But my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come here and see for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You idiot! What was just going on? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki, and how close you got to her. Makes me really happy that you found someone. That's all that matters to me. 
Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Raven? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. At this point, Monica's just looking on like, damn it. Like, she lost her one chance to, like, actually, like, change shit. Because, like, she was, because now she, she knows that if Sayori dies, then Act 2 starts. Or at least her character in this mod knows that. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Raven. If I wasn't here and you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was wrong. I don't deserve... Alright, so... So, Monica was... That's... That, honestly, that's... That's so interesting. That's the most interesting line in the game. Because... Alright, Monica was wrong. In the original Act 1 dialogue of DDLC, she says Monica was right. Not Monica was wrong. Monica was right in that... When Monica was speaking to Sayori, she was putting her down. However, Sayori saying Monica was wrong means that Monica did end up, like, following her word. Like, she did end up trying to help Sayori. Granted, we threw that all out the window. But, I mean, I think the only thing that can save Sayori at this point is, like, Monica's intervention. I, I don't think the MC alone can do it, since he's clearly made things worse. But that is honestly, like, this mod is great. Like, in the sense that, like, it takes, like, the original Act 1 dialogue and it enhances it. So, like, we've seen how C, uh, C and Natsuki argue with their teacher sort of enhance the meaning of her, like, having a bad day during that one day. And also, us having lunch with Yuri and ultimately rejecting her then and there made, like, more sense when Yuri was feeling, like, sort of... I guess, left out, or she was feeling kind of useless when she wasn't able to get given, like, or she wasn't able to, like, do anything. Or at least, initially, no one could think of her doing anything for the festival. And now, saying that, this saying that Monica was wrong, like, just, that's, I guess, a change. But, like, solid changes like that really, like, show a lot in terms of, like, the mod. And this mod does it better than AR mod. This mod did extremely well. Monica? Monica was wrong about what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burn your mind's making it to me. What? Wait, Monica was wrong about what? Oh, she just said, I don't deserve... No, because she said, she was going to say, like, I don't deserve happiness or whatnot. But, because that's, that's honestly, that's, that's so good. That's, like, just so good. It's easily, like, the best part of the mod. Because, like... I mean, they, I've said that the, like, sort of the people who made Fallen Angel, like, it was kind of done, I, I did like the idea of using the Act 1 dialogue, but it was kind of done more lazily as it was, like, more so filler up until it started to deviate. But in this mod, even in the end, when still using Act 1 dialogue, it still, it still changes it. So, like, even, like, the little things... Like, this is a three, this is three words that they could have easily overlooked, but they clearly went back, looked through everything, and then changed what needed to be changed. Like, the thoroughness of this mod is extremely, like, it's extremely well done. So, like, that's just, because, like, lots of times you just see, like, typos or whatnot and mistakes, and then also just, like, other crap, and, like, it's just... Well, I guess it's my typos too, but like it's more so like because sometimes, like the wording isn't necessarily fitting. If and this was shown in Fallen Angel when using the original dialogue, sometimes it wasn't fitting. But this mod clearly went back and made sure that everything fit. That's enough of my rant, and I need to like actually finish this. Something that makes me happy. Something that I won't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. The rest of her lifetime, not necessarily a whole lifetime, but Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Raven. I'm, I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me, Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself, Raven. Because the thing is, since considering we kiss Natsuki right in front of her, even if we say I love you, she's gonna like think, no, you're lying. So, like, the, the, we're literally in a lose-lose situation here because of this, well, mainly 
our answer is going to be lose-lose because of the situation we put ourselves in. It wasn't like we ended up there. We were the one who decided to kiss Natsuki right in front of Sayori's house. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. Slide my hand on Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Even if you don't understand all of your feelings. I know what you need the most right now. He's got to say some bullshit. And that's what I'm going to give to you. You always be my dear friend. I fucking hate this so much. I'm... I like... Listen, I, I honestly don't see Sayori surviving at this point. Like, we're literally doing the worst things possible. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me a truth. What? She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know he's struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. I'm, I'm not... I don't remember him bringing up Monica. But, please trust me that I know what's best and it will make you happy in the end. No, because, uh... No, this has to be actually, like, original dialogue. Because I do remember her speaking to us about Sayori. Granted, it was a bit different, but... Even in the original, like, Act 1, she did, like, reference, you know, we are the person of interest. I promise I'll help get things back the way they were. I, I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredible fan expression. We're like, yup, this is totally normal. We're, we're so good at fixing things, right? Haha, uh -huh. is this what it feels like to be torn straight in half? I should write a poem about this. Sayori, it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish, so please. Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. You know, this whole time there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here, just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're all so right that I just want to get back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than everyone right now. I trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, see where your smile finally breaks. All of a sudden she turns around and drops to her knees. I'm not about to scream and just like, freak out the dog. Clutching her head with both hands, she screams just... Bro, at this point Monica's like, you fucking dumbass, but I'm... Because I, I do remember this is what happened in the um, original game. Because no one ever picks my dearest friend. And except for me, that's what I picked. And then I was like, oh shit. I, f I ended up fucking up. So. Well, I picked it because I originally saw other people play it. And they all, they obviously picked I love you. But I mean like, nah, I'm going to be quirky and go the R option. Clutching her with both hands. She screams as loudly as she can. That scream. That goddamn scream. What the fuck's going on? It's so alien but so familiar. Why do I know that scream? Uh, you, what the fuck are you trying to pull? Like, I don't understand. This, this, I don't think this is, this isn't Monica speaking. This is us speaking. Is this some sort of like, are we sort of like remembering what happened in the previous like timeline or whatever? It burns through my brain like thousands of hot knives over and over, stabbing and stabbing. Rending, tearing my very existence apart. Oh, alright. What the actual fuck is going on? Oh, Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori, I'm all helplessly standing in the front of my house. We're like, crisis averted. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? I haven't done anything wrong. She can't hold the way I feel about Natsuki to ransom. That's, listen, you're right. But that's not what it's about. Like, you're basically... Like, granted, it's also partly because of how Natsuki is as a person, but, like, basically, you flaunt in your relationship, like, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, have you heard that in Day Natsuki? Versus, like, keeping it on the down low. Like, I mean, like, you literally kiss Natsuki in front of her. I mean, like, that's not necessarily, like, it's not necessarily about your feelings for Natsuki. It's about how you present it. Like, if, if you like Natsuki, she's not going to care. But I mean, if you're just gonna, it's, but if you're gonna constantly, like, do shit like that, it'll just serve as a reminder to her that there's something that she can't have. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and get her the help she needs. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Maybe seeing everyone at the festival will help. The company of my friends always helps me when I'm feeling blue. Perhaps after tomorrow, I'll see if I can get her to see a doctor. After tomorrow? Why not do it now? Because she's gonna die tomorrow. After tomorrow, yeah. After tomorrow, yeah. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. After tomorrow. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. We'll get this under control. You say that. Are we just going to teleport straight to Sayori's house? I mean, sleep does not come to me easily tonight. That's interesting. So are we actually going to end up doing something? Or are we just going to, like, let it happen? Because I do not see Sayori surviving. I lie there, tossing and turning. The day's events playing over in my mind. Finding out about Sayori's condition. An amazing day with Natsuki. One where he took a step towards more than me and friends. I love how 
we don't even care about Sayori. We're just like, oh yeah, Sayori's uh, condition. And then we're like, we had this amazing day with Natsuki though. And then have it end on such a sour, discordant note. Does Sayori really feel that way? How long for? How like naive can you be? What the fuck was that? As I ponder these things, sleep finally takes me. I'm like, what is that? Get out of my head. What? Get out of my head. I'm, are we actually in Sayori's head? Or like, wait, what's going on? Get out of my head. This has to be from the third person then. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head. No, this is Sayori's poem. Shit. I, I completely forgot. I'm like, wait, what is she saying? I'm like, this is this is the poem that she wrote. Or well, yeah, this is the poem that she wrote for the festival. And that we see and makes us go back to Monica. Or well, no, not back to Monica. We see Monica. She gives us the poem. Then we go back to Sayori. Get out of my head before I listen to everything they said to me. I mean, get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. They said must be her thoughts as opposed to Monica, because we know that she said Monica is wrong as opposed to Monica is right. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. The poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. I was right. I was right. Is this a dream? Or is this like actually how the mod's going to end? I don't know. Damn, how fucking high up is she? Oh, that was a dream. I'm like, I awake bolt upright and sweat soaked. Monica's like, fine, I'll do it myself. Shows us like a vision of the future. My alarm clock displays the time brightly and proudly. 4 a.m. What the hell? What the hell? What was that? What did I just see? Sayori? Oh, God. Oh, on God. Sayori. My body moves on its own, motivated by panic and a singular purpose. Without thinking, I throw on the first clothes that come to hand. All right. This is interesting. So this is where like the deviation occurs. We're actually going to end up saving Sayori. That's nice. I mean, but, I mean, the thing is, I guess, yeah, given what's happening, we probably are going to end up saving Sayori. But I mean, like, the real question is how long, if we do end up saving Sayori, how long is the game going to go after that? Or how long is the mod going to go? Never. I always figured it would just end with Sayori's death. Like, from the very beginning, I'm like, yeah, this isn't good. Like, or especially when we ended up ignoring Sayori on Friday, it's like, yeah, this... She's probably going to die. Sprinting and panting. Tears and sweat makes it stream down my face. Sweat? Dude, she's literally one house over. Jesus, please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. My muscles burn with each step. My pace slows as I try to keep up. She's... He's your fucking neighbor. I take sulking gulps of air. My body failing to match my mind's fervor. How out of shape can you be? I guess that's what happened when you just like seclude yourself inside all day. Gra gasping expl expletives in the night air i've slowed to crawl by the time i reach my destination also it's nice seeing all the stars this is a little light pollution what am i doing here that was just a dream right there's no way if that was real so what made me run all the way here for, like my life depended on it i mean if thanks monica really thanks for like helping the mc like do actually do this but i mean if it let's say you had a dream like that about someone you like knew like, would you not check in with them? Like, even if you, like, at the very least, like, text them. Like, I mean, that's... Especially if it seemed, like, that real. I mean, even if it seems silly, but it's better you do that than, like, not. And even if you do that, like, it, it would show, like, that you're concerned about them, whoever they are. Like, her life depended on it. What am I, some kind of prophet now? What? No, just a survivor. I have chuckled to myself, sure that I'm jumping at shells. It's a pretty vivid dream, though. We're going to walk into a room and see her hanging anyway. Or, like, either, like, with the noose around her neck. I revisualize it and immediately shut her regretfully. What was it? In exit music. <laughs> exit music and salvation. We literally caught her with the noose around her neck. It's nothing. Just a nightmare. I say it to myself aloud to make myself believe it. I'm just about to turn back when a figure approaches out of the darkness. Is it Monica? Just, like, we, 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 we were literally about to turn back. Raven, what are you doing here? Oh, she's, like, ah, this is... <laughs> she, we had the same, well... We didn't have the same idea, but I mean, Monica, we, it was just coincidence because she was like, she was probably going to like stay with Sayori and literally like, pre like physically prevent her from killing herself. Being like there, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to leave your room. I'm just going to sit here. Like that just prevents Sayori from killing herself. We were just going there on a whim and then eventually turned it down. Wait, if we like sprinted here and were apparently like out of breath. She must live, like, kind of far from us. So, I mean, we're really just going to go back for, like, nothing? 
what am I doing here? <laughs> We're like, what is she doing here? I could ask you the same question. I'm checking on a hunch. That's what we're doing. We're like, no, she she's not checking on a hunch. She's checking because she knows what's going to happen. If you're here, then somehow you've come to the same conclusion. I guess, well, I mean, she did say Monica was wrong. So it's even without Monica's like sentience, Monica, she probably ended up talking to Monica about like about her um, condition, or at least Monica could deduce enough from what she said to, we really need to get inside that house. Did she say it too, that dream I had? It's possible, I mean, it could have been the dream and like the whole game thing, but was it really just a dream after all? I had a nightmare, I saw a or she was, she was, my voice wavers and I suppressed the urge to vomit. So that's it, huh? How troublesome. You don't have time to talk about that now. All right, so she didn't end up having a dream. She just came on her own accord. Cause if she like had the dream, then that'd mean like there's something above her. Isn't like the games like, playing tricks or whatnot she slides a bobby pin out of her hair and pulls a screwdriver out of her purse actually gonna like like break in definitely she goes to work on the lock on sayori's front door however things don't seem to be going to plan girl why isn't this working it's like the game's trying to prevent us from doing this i mean just break a window just like who no one cares at this point like just literally just like i should be able to she jiggles the lock again becoming increasingly frustrated she eventually throws down her tools and slams herself against the door Ow, damn it. What the hell did you do? Let me help. On three. One, three, two, three. As we strike the door simultaneously, a lock buckles and the door swings open. Or that. We will stumble across the threshold as we fight against the momentum we've built up. Stopping for a moment to ourselves, we proceed into the unlit house. Our fourth century does not seem to have raised any alarm. Not yet. Surely if Sayori was in, she'd have heard that. Even if she isn't that heavy of a sleeper, surely. I mean, the thought redoubles my sense of urgency and I quickly ascend the stairs, Monica and Toe. As you reach the landing, Sayori's bedroom door is clear to see. A halo of light reaches out from the cracks in the door. Alright, so that's good. Did we make it on time then? Panic grasps me as I grip the handle. Or I mean, even if, if she turned on the light and hangs herself, she's not going to be able to turn off. So I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean we're on time. Please be okay. I gently open the door. Sayori? Bruh, you fucking kidding me right now. No. I'm not... Bro, I need to put a warning in front of this. Like, Jesus Christ, that's brutal. Like, that's brutal. If I can... Props to the fucking mod makers. That's that's so brutal. Just like mid-hanging. Just took my moment to register what I've seen before me. How about you prop her legs and bring her up rather than just fucking stare at her? My best friend hanging from a noose. Eyes wide with terror, clawing at her throat. Tearing, ga tearing gouges from her neck, blood covering her fingers. Oh god, Sayori, not too late. Grab her legs and take the weight off her neck. I'll get the noose off. Go. We had to fucking wait till Monica set us. Instead of like just instinct kicking in, we're just like, ah, what do we do? What do we do? I position myself underneath Sayori with a leg over each shoulder and lift her up. She immediately takes huge rasping bests of air, wheezing, coughing as she does so. God, that's brutal. That's using the other mods. Exit music and salvation. Um... Yeah, and exit music and salvation, like, uh, what do you call it? In both of those mods, like, she she wasn't mid-hanging. I mean, granted, she had the noose around her neck, but she was still standing on, like, the chair, so it wasn't like, it wasn't like that. But in this mod, she's, Daz, literally, like, dying in front of our eyes. She holds on to me, the blood from her finger soaking into my shirt. Monica reaches up and slips the noose around, so you guys throw it off my head. <laughs> Crisis averted. We completed the objective. Sayori climbs down from my shores into Monica's outstretched arms. Jesus. Monica. Shh, you're okay now. It's, it's, it's weird knowing that... Because these two have had conversations on their own. Like, before, you know, we got involved and, like, whatnot. And, like, Monica was ultimately not like Bahrain Sayori as she normally does. She was trying to bring her back up. Yeah, I do. I, I definitely have to put some sort of warning for this. Because that's just... That's brutal. Even, even when I saw it, I was like, what the fuck? I don't, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. She repeats the phrase over and over. Her eyes whine and unfocused. Trembling as Monica tightens her embrace. I won't let you. Not this time. <laughs> not this time. We're like, wait a second. I promise. I don't want to die. Monica's words do not seem to reach her at all. Monica doesn't seem to care though, smiling through tears, having saved a friend's life. This is honestly really sad. I'm not smiling though. I repeatedly ask myself, why would Sayori do this? Oh my god, we're not even we're not even asking ourselves like what could we have done to prevent this? We're like, why would she do this? What would have pushed her this far? 
Just honestly, the MC should just die, and then like everything goes on as normal. Why something this extreme? No matter how hard I try to rationalize things, I always come to the same conclusion. One that makes me sick to my stomach. What's the conclusion? It's daylight by the time the ambulance arrives. We both companies say we're to the hospital. Once she's admitted, we leave her in capable hands of the staff here. So what's gonna? When's the game gonna like? This has to be like the somewhat end of a game. Mom, can I wait for a taxi to take us to school? It's the only way we'll get to school anywhere near in time for the festival. Not that I expect we'll be celebrating today. Monica. He's giving me one of those looks again. The kind that seemed to look beyond me at something else entirely. Thank you for fucking actually, like... We literally... We literally would have, like, turned around and walked back home. We, oh, my God. Thank you for fucking showing the MC up. And, oh, my God. This... I definitely have to put some sort of warning for that, though. We... We did it. We actually did it. We've never gone this far before without someone, you know? That's true, that's true. And the MC's probably like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I mean, we know. Like, this is actually an achievement. Dying. It was a close one, though. It was. The, the, here's an interesting question, though. Yuri and Natsuki. Do we have to worry about them now? Even without, you know, Monica, like, I guess... In Act 1, she just, like, enhanced their person, their character traits and whatnot. But in Act 2, she was actively, like, basically just, like, made them go insane or whatnot. She literally just, like, showed... She, she like, she didn't necessarily enhance their traits anymore, but she removed any sort of, like... I guess, what would you call it? Like, sort of barrier? Or, like, barrier of, like, preventing us from figuring out. Or, like, she basically made it apparent of their problems, as opposed to just sort of, like having them keeping it to themselves. It's more like an aggressive move versus passive-aggressive. But I mean, still, even like without her enhancing their character traits, Yuri and not especially Natsuki, could be in danger. So I mean, the question is now, do we have to worry about them? I'm glad this hapless fool was there. I'm not sure I could have gotten inside in time on my own. <laughs> She's literally just calling him. Ah, uh, that's good shit. I don't understand how the MC was literally worse off in this time around. He was literally like, I don't even know. The lock on the door had been altered somehow. That's interesting. It's probably the game's way of trying to prevent any sort of, like, interference. Because, I mean, if we go by that belief, then I guess Yuri and Natsuki are in danger. As it, I had all my fixes to Sayori's personality. I put everything back to normal, but it didn't stay that way. This guy came in useful again when he noticed Sayori acting oddly and made me recheck my corrections. They had all been reversed. Someone or something is undoing my work and hindering my privacy. That's interesting. I hope the mod goes further f beyond this. I really do. Because, I mean, that would make it honestly so interesting. With, like, we had, we would sort of had, like, Axe again. Like, Act 1 would be sort of like the first week in us getting close to Natsuki. And then Act 2 would start with sort of like this. Act 1 would end with us saving Sayori. And Act 2 would be starting, with, like, with this. I'm going to look into it, but I think we need to try to protect the girls with without any backstage engineering on my part. Alright, so that means Ziri and Nasi too, like I thought. So be on the lookout for anything unusual, okay? I, I'm already worried about them. I, I'm basically, it's going to be Yuri and Nasi. We'll speak again when I have something to report. See you around. See ya. Sharp pain feels my senses, and I try to focus on what Monica is saying, like the migraine from hell. Sorry, Monica, I didn't get a word of that. My mind is kind of elsewhere right now. She's just like, fucking idiot. She's, that's okay, Rim. Today has been difficult. Can't imagine what you're going through. I wasn't going to get any better. Now we had to tell Yuri and Natsuki. <laughs> That's his first thing, first thought. It's after 10 a.m. by the time we reach school. Festival prep should have been well underway by now. As we open the door to the club room, we see Yuri sitting dejectedly, clutching a banner for the festival. Natsuki's reading manga in the corner, quietly seething. So both of these two know now. Or either that or they got in an our like, fucking argument or whatnot. I, I, I hope it's not the latter. I hope that they actually learned about say what happened with Sayori, but I mean, it, they could have easily just gotten to an argument. Monica, Raven, before you can speak further, Natsuki shoots up out of a seat position and rounds on the two of us. Where the hell have you been? I swear to God, if she doesn't shut the fuck up right now. So they they were it definitely isn't about Sayori then, because if so, they would have been like they wouldn't be this way. So either they were arguing, or like. I, I'm, I'm like speechless right now, like, <laughs> just, the MC must be like freaking pissed right now. He's like, is this going to end our fucking relationship with Natsuki right here? 
just like her like getting angry at us while our, we literally caught our best friend like dying or whatnot like just like i mean we need to think about priorities would you prioritize your best friend over someone you met a week ago probably that's well no the answer is yes and if she's gonna be like berating us like this after what we've gone through then i mean we gotta toss her aside she's not like deserving is what i guess what i'm trying to say and like so i guess it, it isn't even it wasn't even her and yuri having an argument it was them being lazy not doing anything while we weren't here they're like oh monica and the mc and sayori aren't here so we might as well just not do anything but i mean we don't have a lot to prepare for. So you might as well just do what you can. Like, because this, this shit happens in real life. We're like, if, just do what you can while you can. If, you let's say you can't do everything in a situation like this. You can't do everything. Just do what you can as opposed to just sitting there and making excuses. Do you have any idea how long we've been waiting for you? You should have had the cupcakes set out ages ago. Where are they, Raven? Natsuki, I. You don't have them, do you? There I was, thinking you were dependable. I swear to God, we better like fucking slap her or something. Especially after Sunday. Don't tell me I made a mistake. No, Natsuki, listen. Listen to what all you've got are excuses. You could have at least called. I can't believe Natsuki. Shut the fuck up and listen. Thanks, Monica. Thanks for actually like having some balls and like being able to like put her in her place. This is important. I've never heard Monica swear before, but that certainly got her attention. Go on, Raven. Natsuki, Yuri, this morning, Sayori. Your breath catches in my throat. This morning, Sayori tried to take her own life. I can barely force the words out of my mouth. That got her to shut the fuck up. And I feel bad for Yuri because she was sort of like, she wasn't even doing anything. She was like, what the fuck is Natsuki doing? I feel bad for her, but I, well, I feel mostly bad for Sayori because she got fucked over in this mod, but saying it out loud forces me to relive the moment. We found her hanging in her bedroom. What? No way. No, 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 no. It can't be because we, it looks like Natsuki's come to the same, same conclusion that I did. I mean, she came to it in like five seconds. He still hadn't come to it until like after he found her hanging. He's like, wait a second, what could have caused this? Maybe it was my flaunting of our relationship. Perhaps. No. As he sinks back into her chair, we were able to reach her in time, but still. Is she hurt? Where is she? She's safely in the hospital now. She hurt her neck pretty bad. I won't go into detail. Thank goodness you were there in time. How'd you know? Come again? <laughs> I'm just saying it's lucky that they arrived when you did so early in the morning. Oh, oh well, it's just that a few things she said the other day got to me, and while I couldn't sleep. It looks like Raven here had the same idea. Yeah, same idea. Well, either way, I'm glad. I hope Sayori... I do hope Sayori's fair and well. Yeah, I love how Yuri... She nearly got us. She was like... She... Like, Yuri approached this situation with rationality. Like, she... Instead of being like, no, 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 no. She couldn't have done that. Sayori couldn't have done that or whatnot. Being like in denial, she's like, well, thank God you guys got there on time. It's just like... Monica's like, damn, she's smart. She's asking too many questions. And she's like, how did you, like, did you two get there at the same time? Or like, She's, like, starting to think something's up. But, I mean, yeah. Honestly, this is interesting. Because, like, now I have no idea how long the mod's going to last. I always thought it would end with Sayori hanging. But, I mean, like, that's always, uh, I don't know. Yeah. She's in the right place for any help she needs. Yeah, you're right. I suppose we just have to wait until we hear something. Monica looks hesitantly around. We still haven't done any festival prep, and the beginning of the event schedule is looming. Let's just call off today, shall we? I don't think it's a good idea to attend the festival today. Don't think our hearts will be in it somehow. I'll speak with the teachers. They need to be notified of what happened anyway. Yes, they always teachers. What the fuck? Look at... I'm not in agreement. As this year, now she just continues staring at the floor. Look at the three faces. Now he's just, like, crying. Monica's, like, sort of just, like, neutral. And then Yuri's, like, smiling. Like, what the fuck, Yuri? That's making me question shit. That's, that's, is Yuri going to start to go full yonder mode? She's like, nice, see, Yuri's out of my way. Now I just have to deal with Natsuki. Okay, everyone, let's all meet up tomorrow at the club. We'll get any updates on how she's doing, I'll share them with you there. Everyone, stay safe and I'll see you all there, okay? But that Monica breezes out of the room. She just dips. Wordlessly, Yuri follows suit, pauses at the door, take a deep breath. Natsuki's the only one left. Coming out of her stupor, she looks up at me. See, Yuri, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did she really do this because of what she saw? Because of us? We couldn't have done anything more, Natsuki. You could have not been, like, fucking putting your relationship out there for everyone. It's like a private matter. That felt like such a lie. If I had paid attention to Sayori's feelings, there was so much more he could have done. Yeah, he literally did the worst thing he could have. He, like, made every situation worse. He could have been more discreet, at least. It's what I've been saying. I could have let Sayori down gently. Made sure she had the support she needed. Instead of being like, no, I fucking, no. But no, the way she found, us about, she found out about us was to walk in on us 
vent frutching in the middle of the street. I feel like a complete scumbag. You are! That's... I know we didn't do anything wrong exactly. That's like, that's like a fucking legal term. You're like, legally, we didn't do anything. But then why do I always see her face when I look at you? She looked at me like she, I'd stabbed her in the heart, Raven. And I screamed, I heard from the end of the road. It's all I can think about. I move on to put my arms around her. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah, what the fuck? Dude, you... That's honestly interesting. Oh no, this is her expression. Because I'm like, wait a second. This mod only has one file for scripts. But no, this is the expression she does before she sees Yuri. I want to, but I just can't. She bolts out the door before I could say a word. I didn't chase her though, because in the end I felt the same. I couldn't look at her without seeing Sayori hanging there, kicking in tearing out her neck. That was brutal. I definitely have to put some sort of warning at the beginning of the video for that. It's like, if that could fuck someone up. That's even worse than just seeing her fucking dead, like hanging there. That's literally just like, that's brutal. All I could do is walk home and try to tune out the guilty thoughts assaulting my mind. So, how long does this mod last for then? I don't know. How much longer does it go? It makes it seem like we're gonna try and like end up fixing Yuri and Nasi's problems, but I mean it could just end here. I wasn't destined to get a lot of sleep tonight. What's going on? Hold on. Alright. Um. Yeah, I mean just continuing this. Just had to take a little break. I just stay up half watching some crappy TV. Anyway, this doesn't matter. But, like, about the mod. Th now the question is, like, what now? So, like, is the mod going to end, like, right now? Given what we've seen, probably not. It makes it seem like it's going to go on longer. I mean, quite possibly with us having to save Yuri and Natsuki. But, I mean, I don't know. Check my messages once again. Still nothing from Natsuki. I messaged her hours ago, but no reply has been forthcoming. There's that damn noise again. Dude, why are we ex- Why are we- Alright. Riddle me this. Our best friend nearly kills himself and ends up in the hospital. Yet, our priority is still fucking Natsuki. Someone who we met one week ago. Like, we don't even, like, fucking care about the condition of Siri. We're just like, oh, Natsuki, what's what's going on? Are you alright? Oh my god, just like... This version of the MC is probably the worst iteration. In stark contrast to Monica, it's probably the, the best iteration of Monica in this mod. But, I mean, what can you do about it? It's just, it's been the worst day. Even as I think that, I can't imagine any day worse than the one Sayori's had. Or a week for that matter. Who knows how long. Have I always been such a crappy friend? Uh, I mean, yes. Long story short, yes. You Quite possibly. That's what you have to think. Like, think about it. Have Has your attitude changed this week? If not, then you've always been a crappy friend. That's really... I hope she's getting some rest. That again. Eventually in the early hours of the morning, I drop off into a dreamless sleep. That's an interesting transition, but I mean, like, I'm like, it, it, it makes it, it's, it's just weird. It's just odd. Like, anyway, the next day's class is packed li passed quickly as enough as usual. <sighs> anyway, before I know it, it's time for a literature club. As I enter the club room, I notice everyone else has already arrived. Raven, you made it. Hey, Monica. Are you well? This must have fit you harder than anyone else here. Literally, no one cares about Sayori. It's like, she's kind of like the person who uplifts everyone, and then when she's gone, no one really notices. If you need anything at all, thanks, Yuri. I'm coping for now. Okay, everyone, Nazi, just no words. Okay, everyone, now we're all here, I have an update for you. Sayori's had her wounds treated, is now able to have visitors, alright? Alright, let's fucking go. I've discussed it with the principal, and I'm going to be taking some time off to go look at her. Clemens can still go ahead, though. Yuri, are you happy taking over as president for a few days? Damn, just member uplifted the, like, president in, like, the span of one day. No problem. As your president, I'll do my best to keep the schedule full and everyone happy. I don't fucking trust. What's going on? I don't trust this music, and I also don't trust her expression. Vice president, relax, Yuri. It's only going to be a few days, hopefully. So take it easy. Oh yes, of course. My apologies, Monica. It's like slow down there for a second. Yo, get off your high horse. Ah, oh, I went overboard, didn't I? Seem like a little manic today. <laughs> what? Damn, we just have no chill. I rave. Uh, I mean, I think you'll be a great temporary president, even if it's just for a little while. What is this? Like, w there's no reason for this to be happening. Like, why is it going on? Like, this, what does this do for the game? Really, oh my goodness, thank you, Raymond. Vice president. Is that really such an important distinction? 
All right, so it looks like I was right. <laughs> it looks like I was right in Yuri's problems. How we'll have to ultimately end up dealing with her, seeing how she is right now. But, I mean, as, Monica re as long as Monica retains power over that presidential position, because that's what gives her, well, not necessarily her sentience, but that's what allows her to change the code. I mean, as long as she shields that title, basically, I mean, no one can really do anything. We'll... We'll ultimately work towards fixing Yuri and Asi's problems, but as long as neither of them get access to that position, then we're sort of good. Yes. Yes, it is. Nasuki, are you okay with that? Fine. And with that, the club activities commence. Alright, we're just gonna act like that didn't happen. Um, it's making me think like... Sorry about that, no running war now, but... Yeah, um... Yeah, we we'll definitely have to end up solving Yuri and Asi's problems. Like Yuri's psychological obsession and whatnot. That is to say, everyone sits in silence, reading privately. Try to sit next to Natsuki, but she scoots over, so there is at least a seat between us. Dude, what are you doing? Like, just what are you doing? She she feels guilty because she she blames herself for Siori's situation, and you're still trying to get like close to her. Like, you need to give her some time off, dude. Like, what this. This is easily the worst version of the MC we've seen. Like, wh what are you doing? Yuri gives me a worried look. She's been looking at me a lot today. I, I just don't understand what he's trying to do. Like, he he also, he's he came to the same conclusion as Nazi. So, like, he should not be trying to, like, get close to her while his friend, best friend's in the fucking hospital. Like, what is that? Such a scumbag. Malika makes all conversations with me, but I'm not really in the mood. After what seems like an eternity, it's time to go home. After the yards leave, Natsuki remains seated. I turn to leave. Hey, Raven, can we talk? Sure, I tried to text you last night. I guess you weren't up for talking much. No, she's going to break up with us, guaranteed. I mean, I would do it. I mean, it just it, it makes sense for now. Or, not necessarily break up, but it makes sense to keep distance. As, like, what, what was he, seriously though, what was he trying to do? Why is he trying to get closer, Natsuki? I mean, just... He literally does not care for Sayori. And this is honestly surprising. Like he said like one sentence about how like Sayori had the worst week and then goes on to how Natsuki isn't replying to his texts. Like, you got bigger priorities, man. That's sort of what this is about. With everything that's happened, I just need some space. Yeah, makes sense. Don't know what he's trying to do. I don't think we should see each other for a little while. A little while, what does that mean? You shut the fuck up. How is... Like, what are you doing? Until this guilty feeling goes away, I guess. Do you understand? There are so many things I should say right now. Things like, no, that's a terrible plan. We just can't run away from our responsibilities for this. That's that's not things you should say. I mean, it makes sense. I don't see how he doesn't see that. I want you and I need you. Anything other than, yeah, I understand, fine. See you around, Natsuki. All right. Just because... Here's the thing. Just because you're keeping your distance doesn't mean you won't see each other. It's more so like you won't be, basically, you won't be acting as like a couple. You won't be together 24-7. You'll still see each other. You can still even like text each other. But just like, it's not going to be in that same way. And it makes sense. I don't know how he doesn't see that. Turn around and leave the club room. Like, I don't, I just don't understand. The walk back home is a long one. Most of my efforts are focused on holding back the floods of tears that went up. She... It, this is different from like breaking up with you. She's not necessarily doing that because the circumstances in this situation are special and unique. It's just like I don't know what he's doing. I really don't. No Sayori to cheer me up. That's literally what he he's literally using Sayori at this point. He's like he only views Sayori as like an object basically. Something that can make him happy as opposed to like a human being. No Maka center me. And now no Natsuki. This is what I deserve. I'm a terrible friend and a terrible person. No music. What's gonna... It, is he gonna kill himself? That would be interesting. I know what happens in exit music, but like, just seeing what he's... Seeing what he just... Just that one line and this, along with the music stopping. That's making me question it. I mean... But, like, the difference being that Sayori has been dealing with depression her whole life. The MC's just a scumbag. Like, that's honestly, I hope he kills himself. Please do. Maybe I should have been the one in that news. The hell just happened. 
All right, the next, also, just uh, that music, though. The, what do you call it? Why haven't we gone to see Sayori? If she, oh my god, the MC, he's, ha, huh, I, I don't understand. Like, you'd think we'd be the first person to go and visit her. But no, he just doesn't. He just, he genuinely doesn't care. That's the only explanation. Like, the next few days go by and Hayes and none of this. I, I have no idea what he's trying to do. Like, so the music is eerie. That's what, I decided not to go back to the Lurch Club. That's just it. As much as I'd like to spend some time with Yuri, my only friend left there was still talking to me. That was still talking to me. All right, so I he so he has he not gone to visit Sayori because the literature club doesn't really matter. I mean, granted, it matters so that Monica can prevent anyone else from dying. I swear to God, if we end up dying, because the thing is, we can't die because that'll cause the game to reset, and then it'll eventually loot trap Monica again. Like for all we know, this could be the only time, or at least according to this mod, the only time where. She has had this sort of like all this alternate reality has sort of happened. So in order for it to be successful, everyone has to stay alive. But because the MC's being such a scumbag, he's gonna jeopardize all of that. It's out of my control. I haven't made a single decision this game. I don't want Rob not to give her best friend and always safe haven. We're talking to Yuri as if now. I mean just what I just don't understand. They're better off without me anyway. See, he's talking like Sayori now, but the problem is that he's not actually, he hasn't been depressed his whole life. He's the one who caused this situation. Granted, that could, that probably does make him feel pretty bad, maybe even depressed, but he has to do something about it. It's not like he's in this sort of position where Sayori was, where she really, where she couldn't really do anything about depression. He has to make things better. He has to go see Sayori, which he hasn't. I mean, granted, it might, I don't really care about him not, like, doing the literature club, but school days have become a hell of a cycle. Wake up, class, eat, sleep, repeat. Days feel indistinguishable from one hour, aside from having less and less energy each time. I just, I don't understand. Any free time I have, I spend reading manga, trying to tune out the thoughts that remind me of just how worthless I am. I once tell me I should just disappear. Maybe it's because they are right. It's Friday, the weekend approaches. Is there a parody, the same old lunch roll, the same old classroom, a familiar figure appears at the door. Who is it? Oh, it's Yuri. I don't fucking trust. We're, th we're really doing this now. Hello, Raven. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't trust this. I especially don't trust this track. What's going on? Is the mod going to end soon? Is something something bad's going to happen, isn't it? I just... And it's all the fucking MC's fault. Like, even more so than actual DDLC. Like, Jesus. Because actual DDLC, Monica was enhancing their character traits, which is what partially caused Sayori to do that. But granted, the MC in this mod is just an absolute scumbag. It's just... Hey, Yuri. I came to see how you were doing. I was worried about you. I don't know. I just... Why haven't we seen Sayori? We genuinely don't care about her. I've been lonely in the Lurch Club. All Natsuki does is rear manga in silence. She won't talk to me anymore, Raven. I know that feeling. Ah, yes. I must hurt. Especially after what happened on Sunday. Sunday, did she? Oh, so Natsuki must have told, uh... This happened Monday, though, not Sunday. Mm, yes, that was the one thing she did tell me. Oh, she no, she told Yuri about how she ended up uh, kissing us and how Natsuki, like, interrupted it. Can't believe things ended between you like this. You must be devastated. I've been thinking about you a lot this week. You just look so lost. The thing is, Natsuki wasn't breaking up with us. Because that would imply it's under normal circumstances. These aren't normal circumstances. Like, time off. It's not necessarily breaking up. Assuming you're not... Unless he sees it that way and starts getting with, like, other girls, and that's on him. But, I mean, I just, I just, I don't understand. Thinking. Not like that. A little like that. What? Please, Raven, can we maybe go somewhere just like the two of us? Is, are we, is it just us here? Like, is, ain't, is there, like, is the class full and they're all just listening to us? I can't stand by and watch anymore. I never abandoned you like she has. She abandoned both of us. Alright, see, the thing, the problem being now that, because of what happened with Sayori, because of the MC's inability to handle it, it's he's caused infighting between the rest of so, yeah. This I don't think the game's salvageable at this point. I think it's going to end up resetting no matter what. Because Monica made it imply that as long as everyone stays alive, as long as no one dies, that the game will keep going. But I mean, given the what's going on, given this downward spiral, what's happening? It's just I've seen how lonely I've been. I'm lonely too. Crazy about you, Raven. This can't be right. Natsuki abandoned me. I guess she did kind of shut me out. I just, 
I honestly don't know what's going on. Like, my best friend tried to kill herself, and all she could think of was how hurt she was. You didn't even, you can't say that, because he didn't even think of her either. Like, no, no one has been thinking about Sayori, how hurt she was. That's the opposite. She was thinking of Sayori. She was thinking of how she hurt Sayori by being with us, not vice versa. But I guess I, I have no hope for the MC at this one. Maybe it's for the best. Have I been barking up the wrong tree this time? Um, still, daily reminder that she literally snatched us from Yuri. We were going to read with Yuri, and then she caused commotion in the closet, which caused us to go with her. So technically, yes, we have. Yuri's beautiful, kind of understanding. She's here for me. And yet, when I look at her, I feel not much really. On paper, she should be a perfect girl, but there's no place in my heart for her other than as a friend. Sorry, Yuri, that sounds wonderful. It really does, but I can't. I can't do that to Natsuki, and I don't think you really want to either. Why? You know I'm right, so tell me why. She gonna Don't tell me she ends up killing herself, because that's just going to, like, that's literally going to end the game. Why her and not me? Yuri, what the hell's gotten into you? Isn't she your friend? I'm sorry, Raven. You're right, she's my best friend. I don't know what I was thinking. I haven't been myself lately. Not since... Yuri. How about we just forget this happened, okay? Yes. I think that'd be for the best. I think I'm going to go and see Natsuki now. I should see I should see if she's alright. Did you do something for me? Anything. Tell her I miss her. Of course. Hello, everyone. Alright. Why is Monica... Alright. Where the hell are we and why is Monica here? She shouldn't be here. When did she get here? Is she gonna talk to me? Like, is the player... Hello, everyone. Monica. Hey, Monica, I didn't think you were in school today. I wasn't originally, but I have some great news. Oh, so you're always being released from the hospital today. Isn't that wonderful? For the first time all week, I can't help but smile. At least he's now thinking of her. Really? That's amazing. Really, really. You should go see her tomorrow, Raven. She's missed you. I don't know why we haven't. Uh, she could have had visitors and we didn't visit her. Yeah, I will. Thanks for letting me know. Well, thank goodness she's recovered quickly. If you'll excuse me, I have something I must attend to before class. It makes a very swift exit. No doubt flusters to what just happened. As uncomfortable as that was, I hope she's okay. She's our next... Alright, now that's just Monica and us, we can actually talk about the game. I... I'm not sure if this is salvageable. Just the MC! He's such a scumbag! The school bell chimes and announcing you have lunchtime not long after. Looks like that's my cue to exit too. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, Raven. Hopefully. It's questionable. Questionable worrying. She turns to leave but pauses before doing so. Oh, and Raven, good job fending off her vice president just now. Monica's just like... Solid work, solid work. Yeah, that's actually good. I mean, because she's definitely got to be our next priority, Yuri. Just like preventing her from doing anything irrational. For a second there, I thought your man was going to do all the walking. What the fuck? Uh, I I was too. I'm like, honestly, is that... I don't, why is the MC so... I was like thinking, I'm like, why is he such a scumbag? What is he doing? I'm impressed. Natsuki. She's really special to you, isn't she? I take a deep breath, smile and nod. She is. I've known her for two weeks and one of them was spent not talking to each other. I'm like, dude, you really prior you're really prioritizing someone who you've known for two weeks over your best friend. Like what is that? Yet somehow I feel like I've known her so much longer. Does is is he like referencing all the cycles? She's so lucky. <laughs> and with that Monica is zoom, she does so students for next class begin to arrive en mass. I'm gonna walk home. I feel more determined than I have all week. I know what I need to do now. I have a plan, I have a purpose. Is, are they going to go back to the Lurch Club? Yours advances, no matter how inappropriate. Just give me the jolt I needed to snap out of whatever the hell that was going on in my head. I'm like, what What were you doing? I screw up and I've been a bad friend. There's no doubt in that. The fact is, they always lie. We've been given a chance to make things right. To squander that chance would be criminal. I was worried that was going to happen. I'm like, what is he doing? I can only hope Nazi would come around to that idea. The thing is... I don't know why he thinks Natsuki is, like, selfish in this situation. This is probably the one time Natsuki hasn't been selfish. Because she wasn't thinking about herself. She was thinking about Sayori. She feels guilty because of her relationship with us. And she's breaking that off. As respect to Sayori. Because, I mean, they've had to have noticed. I mean, Monica noticed. I mean, granted, you're, Natsuki and Yuri might have not noticed. But, I mean... Now what, Now that they realize this, looking back, it's quite possible that they've figured out. I hop off the shopping list and order Myers to take up the dry white marker attached to it with a string. Wielding it like a weapon, I simply set out my to-do list. Three bullet points in large capital letters. Go see Sayori. Get Natsuki back. Sort life out. Get Natsuki... <laughs> Why is Get Natsuki back on that list? 
That's not a priority right now. I don't... I'm, what is he doing? Before going to bed, I received a text message and checked my phone. It's from Natsuki. Miss you too. Can we talk? First hurdle cleared. Looks like Yuri was as good as her word. Just... I swear to God, if Sayori gets back, and it's gonna be like the same fucking thing. She'll just end up killing herself again. Or trying. I better get some sleep. Tomorrow's gonna be a brand new day. I keep seeing that, and I think of the mom. Oh. Alright. This weekend... The weekend is here. It's time to turn plans in. Warren's just words on whiteboard. So, we're going to see Sayori. I begin the relatively short watch to Sayori. She's at home? Alright. I begin to piece together exactly what it is I want to say to her. When I bump into a familiar face, right for me at the end of Monica? Oh, it's Natsuki. Hey, um... Monica told me you'll probably be seeing Sayori today. Don't fucking do this, please. Please. I mean, we've... we Given we've seen what happened in Fallen Angel when we brought Yuri to Sayori. This is just insulting at this point. I mean, what is he doing? Uh, peace offering? Natsuki stands before me, brandishing a small object wrapped in tissue paper, which he thrusts into my hands. I unwrap it, revealing a chunky-looking chocolate muffin. I made these in home ec yesterday. They aren't as good as my cake cupcakes, but they're a solid 7 out of 10, don't you think? Take a bite, she was right. These are more in plain than just usual her off than her usual offerings, but the quality was there. She had taken a simple recipe and made the best out of it. Eh, I'd say more like an 8. Ooh, such praise, you flatter me so. Conversation dries up alone. She starts to fidget, staring nervously at the ground. Eventually, she rakes the sounds. Ah, what do we do, Raven? I still feel so guilty even being around you, you know. But all I know is... Maybe even sadder without you around. Stupid boy. Making me feel weird things. I know we shouldn't have had boy in the club. Hey, you see I missed the verbal abuse. I'm seriously right. What am I supposed to do? I can't get my head around how I feel about with about you with everything I'm feeling about what happened. Just just don't flaunt it in front of Sayori. That's literally the solution. I don't see how this is like so hard. Like just I'm so confused. I give her a warm smile. This is all gonna be okay. Why don't we go and see Sayori together? That's a bad idea. But she's not going to want to see me after what happened. I should just... Natsuki, we can't run away from this forever. We have to face her. I don't want to do it without you. We're literally just going to degrade her being like, you're selfish for thinking you could end up with us. I love little Miss Natsuki over here. Ah, uh, you, you're right. We owe her this much. Let's do this. I offer her my hand, which she takes. Our fingers intertwine. We begin to walk towards Sayori's. Her soft hands felt tiny in mine, but the grip was solid and firm. I never wanted to leave my side again, but that's conversation for later. First, we have to save our souls before we can save our relationship. We have to save Sayori! As we arrive at Sayori's house, I spell Monica away in the front door. She's like, Natsuki, I gotta speak with you. Natsuki hesitates at the sight of her, gripping my hand tighter. I forgot, she hadn't seen Monica since that day. Yet she finds the courage to speak first. Hey, Monica, long time no see. What's with the uniform? Oh, alright, yeah, I've got some catch-up classes to take this weekend. So I'm taking them while you guys are here with Sayori. She's like, oh, fuck, I don't have any other clothes. She looks down at her joining hands and flashes a pained smile. I'm glad to see you two are talking again. Are you guys? Um, ah. Uh. She releases her grip on my hand slightly. To be disgusted, I think. She looks between Monica and I and nods to herself. Yeah, that. This seems to satisfy her for now. She su sewers her grip once again. Monica also seems to be satisfied with the answer. She begins to walk on by. Well, I'd better be going. She's been waiting for you. See you later. So, is she already spoken with Sayori? That's what it's making it seem like. Well, it's now or never. Right. Both of us shaken a little. We step inside the house and head upstairs. We knock on Sayori's bedroom door. Come in. Even with something as simple as that, hearing her voice again fills me with equal measures of joy and dread. Now she tightens her grip on me. She hasn't let go of my hands this entire time, and frankly, I don't want her to. Once again, I gently open the door. Alright, you came. It's good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see Sayori, like, in her normal outfit. Not her hanging outfit. Mm. Sayori's the only character who got three outfits. Sayori. Sayori, I... We both stopped dead at the sight of her. I was so sure of what I wanted to say, but now... Seeing her face again is overwhelming. Sayori, I'm so, I'm so sorry. This is all our fault. Tears roll down Natsuki's face. It's a week's worth of pent-up guilt and agonizing comes out, comes tumbling out at once. Look into Sayori's eyes. I can't help but join her in welling up. If we haven't been so inconsiderate, then none of this would have happened. You wouldn't have... We don't want you to find out like that. I swear, I didn't mean to. You. You guys don't mean what you were doing last Sunday, do you? Well, yeah. Seriously, I appreciate the sentiment, but... You're pretty conceited to think this is all about that. It, the thing is... No, actually, I'm actually interested to see what she has to say. Huh? What do you mean? Truth is, I've been playing this for a long time. I mean, it's quite possible. I mean, she had the rope when she had to have acquired that at some point in the past. I just became so tired of living in day out of constant misery and resolved to just end it all. But I didn't want to leave Raven alone in this world. I want him to have someone, so I had him join the literature club. I mean, it makes sense. It's a solid plan on her part. And it, it this is actually, this is pretty good insight. 
because this is this is actually really interesting because before granted given act the act one of ddlc it makes it seem like she ended up killing herself because she saw us with either natsuki or yuri and granted the mc he was bad in that version but not as bad in this version but i mean this makes a lot more sense because i mean granted sayori had to have had that rope in order to hang herself so she had to have sort of like plan this out somewhat or at least like it wasn't like impulse she killed herself it was like she had to she had a delivery plan she bought the rope brought it back tied it up and then ultimately ended up hanging herself i mean and it, it makes sense what she did so like she wanted to sort of like if she if she's had really bad depression this whole life you have to ask at that point what's stopping her from killing herself and that's us and it makes sense how seeing us get close to someone else that's sort of like her cue to leave i guess like leave this life it's actually, that's actually interesting. I never really thought of it that way before, but I mean, I guess it, it makes more sense that it's like this rather than opposed to just her seeing us and Natsuki or whatnot. Everything went perfectly planned, too perfectly. You two got so close so quickly. I started to become conflicted. I was so worried about you stealing Raven away from me, Natsuki. What sense does that make? Why am I going to kill myself anyway? And for that reason, when I was stood up on the stool, rope around my neck, I hesitated. I stumbled as I pushed the stool off from under myself. I failed to break my neck, as if part of me, for the first time, was fine for the live. I had to live. I tried everything to get off that noose, but I was too weak. It's when you showed up. And she showed up. Ha, huh, Monica. She's been so wonderful this past week. She's been like my guardian angel. That's... That's good to hear. Because I remember at the beginning of the mod, Monica did end up saying to delete her if she went AWOL. And... Just due to the fact she said that makes me think it's going to happen. I just don't know when. I have no clue how long this mod's going to go. But I mean, I'll, I'm nearly done. She even told me how to use makeup to cover my next bruises. That's interesting. I struggle to take all of this in. Was she really saying that she wanted us to get to that together so she could feel better about dying? Yeah, she basically did. And I think I'm going to end it here. Um, yeah, it's been an hour and 15. Been a while. It's been a fat minute. But yeah, that's actually... So, this mod's fucking great. Not gonna lie. I think th I think this surpasses exit music. I, I do think it does. I mean, this mod is just... The, although the deviation point was basically at the end of Act 1. So, like, Act 1, even though the dialogue wasn't the same. And I guess the progression was a little different. It was still followed the general trend or like general path of Act One, and it had its own, like it had its own like uniqueness to it. So where like they went the what well, what was the word I used earlier in the recording? The thoroughness. They it's extremely thorough. Every single line fits, as opposed to kind of like Fallen Angels, where it's sort of just like thrown in here. Every single line fits and has purpose in Act One. The lines that need to be changed are changed, and the lines that don't need to be changed are the same. Um, yeah, what else was I going with this? Not only that, we ended up saving Sayori, and now the mod didn't just end there, the mod's still going on. And it makes me think the mod is going to continue going on. For at least some time. I can... And I, I'm, I might try and predict the future events of the mod. Because, I mean, like, now that we saved Sayori, obviously the question is now what? So, like, I guess I do think we'll end up having to save Yuri and Natsuki. But that, it probably won't be as long and drawn out as Sayori. Considering Sayori was our main focus in Act 1 to prevent her from hanging herself. But I mean, granted, it's also, I'm still, I still think Monica is going to end up going AWOL. I mean, even though there's been no evidence of that. Like Sayori even said, Monica has been extremely well to her. Like, in just because Monica said that in the very beginning makes me think it's going to happen. And that'll probably be the end of the mod. Us to and Monica in order to preserve the literature club or whatnot. But, and then her having some sort of redeeming moment. If the mod ends like that, it might even top Rain Clouds as number two. And poss quite possibly be the best mod I've ever played. But I mean, I don't know. That would have required a lot of work and a lot of time. I don't know how this mod's going to end. It's still going. It's a pretty long mod. And I like that. Because it gives it time to like develop. And also, what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, the characters are done really well. The MC is just made as big of a scumbag as possible. 
and I mean now it seems like he's starting to like change and develop. He's starting to learn his lesson now. He's like, this was pretty much my fault. And I mean, his fault partially. Even if he didn't, even if like Sayori now, she said it wasn't necessarily his fault. But I mean, it, it's his fault for not, you know, like paying enough attention to her, not figuring out her problems sooner. And I mean, just like, also, yeah, I mean, it's, it's weird, because even though it is a Nazi-centered mob, like, we still haven't figured out about problems, and if, I'm questioning, I do think we will eventually, along with theories. We've already somewhat seen, we've already sort of, like, peered, there's already been, like, nearly two instances of Yuri going, like, showing off her, like, uh, showing her obsession, which makes me think Yuri's gonna be the next one. After we end up fully dealing with Sayori, we'll have to deal with Yuri, and then once we're fully dealt with her, We'll end up having to deal with Natsuki, and ultimately, I think Monica will revert back, and we'll have to end up deleting her to end the mod. If it ends, I really hope it goes like that. I don't know. This mod is the best I've played in quite a while. I think it surpassed all the recent mods I've played this summer. I do think this is now my third favorite mod as of now. There's still a lot of mod to be played, so yeah, we'll see. But there was something else I was gonna say, but I forgot, so I'm just gonna end it here. So yep, that's it for today. Tomorrow it is then.